Unemployment has fallen again by 33,000 in the three months to January. There are now 2.45 million people out of work, fewer than many economists had been expecting. But what do these latest figures actually mean? Here's our economics editor, Stephanie Flanders, on the changing face of unemployment. Britain's jobs market is all mixed up. UK-wide, unemployment fell by 33,000 in the three months to January for the third time in a row. But in some places, the jobless total is still going up. In Scotland, it's up by 16,000. And across the UK, there was a 54,000 fall in the number of people in work. Unemployment only fell last month because of a big rise in the number of people who said they weren't looking for work at all, many of them students. So the jobless total could rise again in the next few months. But everyone agrees that the labour market has behaved differently in this recession and it's had a very different impact on different groups. Look at what's happened to men and women. The number of men in work has fallen by 552,000 since the start of the recession. And the number of women has fallen by just 33,000. Now, what you're not getting from those figures is all the many men and women who've lost their jobs and then found new ones. But even there, a lot more men have been made redundant than women. And I guess that's not a surprise when you think about the industries that have been worst hit. The recession started with the banks and the financial sectors shed nearly 300,000 jobs. Construction's also been hit hard, another sector dominated by men. And manufacturing, that's lost 314,000 jobs. Some more men lost their jobs in Coventry today. The company that makes the black taxi cab said it was moving part of the work to China. People are using cabs less. That's creating a lack of confidence amongst our customers, the taxi drivers. They're buying less taxis, they're delaying purchase. That's creating a profit problem, a viability problem for manufacturing. And that's leading us directly into restructuring and leading to the job losses that we've announced today. If you work in the public sector, the story had been very different. The number of government jobs has risen by 118,000 since the recession began with a rise of more than 100,000 in the NHS alone. A lot of those jobs are part-time, like Jan Smith's work for Revenue and Customs. She's an early victim of government budget cuts. Her job disappears in 10 days' time, and she won't be the last. I actually went for an interview this morning, absolutely loved the place. Um, but there's other people chasing those jobs as well, I'm hopeful, but um, there's, not, there's not a lot of jobs out there. Today's figures show public sector employment still rising, but no one expects that to last. This recession has hit some a lot worse than others, but the recovery looks deeply uncertain for all. Stephanie Flanders, BBC News.